going from an unbalanced redox reaction to a balanced net redox reaction is not always an easy process. Now equations for redox reactions often involve water molecules, hydronium molecules, and hydroxide molecules. And therefore determining the number of these molecules in a balanced equation can be very tedious. Fortunately, a systematic approach exists to finding the balanced redox reactions. And I've outlined seven steps that you can follow when determining or balancing redox reactions. So let's see these steps. In the first step, you basically have to recognize what atom is oxidized and what atom is reduced. Next, you break down the unbalanced reaction into the two half reactions, an oxidation reaction and a reduction reaction. In the third step, you have to balance atoms in each reaction, so in the reduction reaction and the oxidation reaction. And the atoms you're balancing are all the atoms other than oxygen and hydrogen. Next, you have to balance the oxygen by adding water and hydrogen by adding H plus ions. Now, this only works for acidic solutions. In basic solutions, you balance the H atoms, the hydrogen atoms, by adding OH minus, so by adding hydroxide ions. In the fifth step, you balance the charge by adding electrons to one side. Remember, charge is conserved. So whatever charge is lost must be gained. So that's why you need to balance the charge by adding electrons to one side uh, of the reaction. Next, you multiply each half reaction by appropriate factor so that electrons gained equals electrons lost. Once again, this comes from the conservation of energy or the conservation of charge. In the final step, you basically add the two half reactions and you check to make sure that they are in fact balanced. So in the next lecture, we're going to look at this unbalanced equation and we're going to follow these steps and balance it and find the final balanced net uh, redox reaction.